What's going on guys? It's your homie Brendan from Modern to Me and today you guys are in for a treat because we are going to learn about variables and variables are getting like down and dirty with the greatest part of programming. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, if you guys aren't big like math people and algebra, then this might not be for you because if you think of variable, you think, okay, there's x and x equals a number and you're trying to solve for x. It's pretty much the same thing in computer programming, except that the computer solves for x for you, but x is still equal to a number and it's still the same exact concept is applied to computer programming as it is to algebra. Personally, I love math. Math is my strongest subject, my favorite subject, so I really love programming too. Might not be for all people, but I generally think that the same principles apply to uh, math and programming. They, they go hand in hand for sure. So let's get started. When you think of numbers, uh, you, you, think, you, might, you probably think of math and variables. Variables don't have to uh, represent numbers, but that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna start with the simple variables that represent numbers. Numbers can come in in general, two forms, ones that are uh, decimals and ones that are not decimals. So we're just going to start simple and work with the ones that aren't decimals. So uh, if you remember from, uh, gosh, I don't know what, what grade, but whatever uh, math class you learn the kind of numbers, there's a number called an integer. And an integer is any whole number without decimals, uh, positive or negative, including zero. So an integer can be zero, it can be seven, it could be 29, it could be negative 70, negative 43, it can be any of those values and all the way up to infinity and negative infinity. So uh, that's the kind of variable we're going to start with. Now when you are telling uh, your computer that you want to work with a variable, you have to tell it the kind of variable you're going to work with. So since we want to work with integers, we are going to type int, int, and you can see it's highlighted in purple there so you know you're on the right track. So once we've typed, uh, let's clean this code up a bit real quick. If you, if you guys haven't noticed, I kind of cleared out the stuff from the other tutorials because we're ready to move on. So we have our int, our int is what it's called. And our computer's like, all right, we're ready to go. We have an int. We know we want to do something with this int. They want to do something with this int. What next? What is its name? So you have to name your variable. We'll just name our variable var for variable var. So int var. Now, once you've done this, you could be done. When you're done de uh, de declaring a variable, what you do is just like we did with our at the end of our system.out.println, you just put a semicolon. And that right there is telling your computer, all right, we're done. That's, uh, that's all we really want to do. We, just, we know we have this variable var. We don't really have any use for it yet. But as you can see, we're getting a warning here. And this warning says the, the value of variable var is not used. That's because we really haven't done anything with this variable yet. We haven't given a value. So we could be done here. We could put that semicolon and call it quits. But what we're, what, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna give it a value. So what you can do is instead of just uh, putting a semicolon and giving it a value later, you can give it a value right on the spot, right now. Let's do it. So what you do is you just put an equal sign, just what you'd expect, nothing tricky. So you have int var is equal to, and then you just put whatever value you want. We'll put, we'll just go with five and var equals five. It can be up to uh, some pretty large values. I'm pretty sure it's up to uh, over two billion. So we could do two billion, but we'll just, we'll just go five. That's a lot easier to work with than two billion. So I'll uh, put a semicolon on that. And another cool thing, uh, another really good reason why we learned the system.out.print line is not only can it type something in quotes like, uh, I love Java, but oh my gosh, I am a mess today. Not only can it type I love Java, but it can type, uh, excuse me, not type, but you can put variable names in here. So if we put var in here, you'd expect the variable, uh, the, not, the, man, I have having some major struggles today. What you'd expect to happen in here, and what I was trying to say, is that the value of var would come up in uh, when you run your program. So let's try it out. If you do control F11 and you run your program, and if you look right over here, uh, in the con console, you'll s <laughs> I keep saying that word wrong, I'm sorry. All right, but if you look, you see five. There you go. Wow, it worked, that's awesome. I'm so proud of you guys, you did it. Hopefully you got the same uh, same output if, as me. If you're ever having any trouble, by the way, in these tutorials, comment, and I'm sure I'll be able to help you out. Uh, so, now that we've done that, all right, well, let's, let's try it out with a negative value. Let's go uh, negative 
43. I love that number, 43. So let's try that. If you do Control F11, and if you check it out, you'll see negative 43 right there. Perfect. So everything seems to be working. So if you uh, check me out in the next tutorial, check me out, not physically, I mean, if you want to, maybe, I don't know. But if you'll uh, or come to next tutorial, you'll be able to learn how to use decimal values. So I will see you guys there.